Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 416. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 415 to 422. Hey, in this trick, we have some invoices and some quantities. Now, I just put the number one here for quantities to make it easy on us, but we need to add all of the invoices that start with 555. So the first two characters are equal to 555. We need to go over to this column and add all the quantities. There's some invoices that start with 58, and there's some that start with 7E. Now you can already see these are uh, aligned to the right, which means Excel considers them numbers. These are aligned to the left, which means Excel considers them text. Let's look at one uh, possible approach here. What if we did some ifs? Let's make this a little bit smaller here. Some uh, use the Control Z. Luckily, there's a Control Z. What did I do there? Hmm. The sum if is a, a potential solution here. You, you th you'd think, but look, it's looking through this first column here. That's the range. And our criteria, we said, hey, look here, and we did ampersand, and that, in quotes, that little asterisk, means as many characters as possible. So what we're saying is find the 555 and anything after it. So it should pick up all of these, right? Ah, but here's the problem. This first column, those are all considered numbers, and these are text. Well, what does Anytime you do use ampersand or use left, right, all of those types of text functions, this is text. You could even highlight this and hit the F9 key to evaluate. That is text. And we're saying, hey, Excel, sum if function, find the text and match it against numbers. And it goes, forget it, can't do that. Control Z. So you were thinking, well, let me just use the left function here as an array and extract the first two characters. Well, sum if can't handle arrays. So notice also that's why we get zeros for these. But when it comes down to the text, it does work because you're max matching this little text piece here. And the sum if finds in the blue column, this A column, those text entries at the bottom. And so it can do it, work it. So sum if is not going to work. We're going to switch over to sum product equals sum product because some product can handle arrays. Now we're going to get a series of trues and falses and I'm going to convert those trues and falses to ones and zeros with a double negative. So I'm going to close uh, double negative and then open parentheses and now I need to do my actually uh, yeah l uh, left and the text is going to be all of this right here. And I'm going to hit the F4 key because that needs to be locked when I'm copying it down. That's the part. We can't put this left of this inside of the sum if because it'll be a, a considered an array and it won't doesn't deal with those. Equals, we'll say anytime anything in that range equals, uh, oh, I'm sorry, we forgot the left. How many characters? Comma 2. So right now, if you were to highlight this, this uh, left comma 2 and hit the F9, you can see it extracts all those. Notice they're all text. Again, left, right, ampersand, concatenating, always creates text. Control Z. So I'm going to say anytime that's equal to this. Now, we could make all these numbers and then these numbers, but that won't work when it gets down here. So we need to leave all of these text and do something to this to make it text. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to say ampersand and then double quote. That's just adding blank, which is nothing to the end. But what it does, ampersand, my cursor is not where ampersand text converts it to text. And if you don't believe it, hit uh, highlight it and hit F9 and boom. Now we have a 55 and you remember that's in quotes and it'll match up with the quotes it sees in there as 55, control Z. So ultimately a big part of this problem is the number text matchup and when we're trying to equate them saying are these equal, it comes up no if one's number and one's text. All right, so now we uh, close parentheses on that series of trues and falses. We have our double negative and now all we need to do is since some product takes arrays and multiplies them, we get a bunch of ones and zeros there. Now we just need to take our, our range here and I'm going to hit the F4 key and lock it uh, going down. I'm never copying this to the side, so I'm going to convert all of those. 
to just dollar signs in front of the numbers. Now, I can control enter. This is not an array, so you don't have to use control shift enter. Control enter, and then copy it down. So now, if I change this to uh, 10, of course, that'll properly update. So that's how to uh, get a total of quantity off of the beginning two characters, in essence, a prefix of uh, an invoice number. All right, we'll see you next trick.